Heartstopper gave a party down in New Orleans. And man, that was some shindig, the best I've ever seen. Now they got their friends from fun near to hide a hot jazz band. But the only song that the band could play was Miss Nelly, Let Me Be Your Man. Miss Nelly, Miss Nelly, Miss Nelly, Let Me Be Your Man. Now they played that tune about ten times and Gene Noble started to cry. If I had to spin that tune in Nashville, I think old Coolheart would die. Now Joe Ray and Jack Terrell both seemed to agree. Although the song was mighty good, it just ain't the tune for me. Now Spider Burks and Ernie Waite, they took a liking to the band. Them cats are hot and can really blow why they should be in demand. Now Peter Potter thought the band got hotter each time they played that song. And Mr. Blues told Jack the Cat he was glad he came along. Now Jackie Jack told Zena Sears he wasn't a bit impressed. And Sam Evans told Maxie Wagner he thought the band should rap. But Dewey Phillips was getting his kicks, watching the drummer play. And Larry Dean was kind of disgusted, he didn't have nothing to say. Now Al Benson started to sing, and Okie Dokie joined in. And everybody bust out laughing when the G came chirping in. Then Mary D got the bobbin with Robin and Bristol directed the band. And everybody started singing, Miss Nelly, let me be your man. Miss Nelly, Miss Nelly, Miss Nelly, let me be your man. Now Symphony Sid had his tape machine, recorded the whole affair. And all those cats were spinning that jam, spinning it on the air. From New York to Frisco, Chicago, and all over the land, the hottest tune on any show is Miss Nelly, let me be your man. Miss Nelly, Miss Nelly. Miss Nelly, let me be your man. Nelly, Miss Nelly, Miss Nelly, let me hold your hand. I buy you sodas and honey cakes and everything is grand. Miss Nelly, Miss Nelly, 